stabbing her. I stab and stab. I love stabbing. Sounds like you like stabbing. After all the stabbing. It's repetitive. I'd wash my hands in her dark red blood. Listen to that detail. This man is psychotic. It's fiction. There's no such thing as a gimp costume. Oh, gimp costume. Oh, that's You've seen me in one before. I just don't think you should be in a room with this creep twice a week. It is not safe. Are you worried about me, Miller? Yeah, I'm a little worried about you. And if you won't do anything about it, then I'm taking it into my own hands. I'm doing a little investigation. Investigating? Please, you're just gonna Google his name. I am way beyond that. You're typing his name into Google. We can all see the screen. This is a private investigation! I, you know, I wanted to talk to you about the regrettable contact between CeCe's, her, her down there, and my, uh, my part. You practically shish kebobbed her. Is this something I should apologize for? Just let it go, man. You pogoed her. Oh, I'm sorry, what did you say, pogo? <laughs> I didn't, um... Her pogo. What is that? <sighs> Look, Winston, fine. It's what we call what you did this morning, okay? It's a, shor it's a shorthand. Why do you have a shorthand, Schmidt? Because it happens so often? You pogoed me once. You pogoed Jess twice. Hey, it's not sexual. Nick's never been pogoed directly. He did get his pizza one time. Which, by the way, is a whole nother debate. How did you not feel that? So, let me get this straight. You guys sit around and talk about this? The penis actually changed the channel. Uh, when we were watching the Bears game once? You don't think me, Nick, and Jess talk about you behind your back? Because we do. You have more pogos than anyone. You are completely misusing the word pogo. You are the pogo king. Pogo king. Pogo king. So I want to talk about your creative imagery assignments. Wow, guys. I really felt like I was buried under a giant, gleaming, powdery avalanche of adjectives. Don't mean to interrupt. I just hear you're the best teacher of adults. Oh, no. I'm wondering if there's room for one more. No. How you guys doing? I'm Julius Pepperwood. Not now, My okay. next cop, ex-Marine. I'm here to learn how to write short fiction. Oh, OK, Julius. Just take a seat and um, keep small. I'm from Chicago. Thin crust pizza? No, thank you. I'm from Chicago. So for a fun follow-up, Sorry, I'm late. No problem, Edgar. We're just going over our descriptive imagery. I'm sorry, dear. I can't hear you. Mr. Pepperwood. I'm gonna move closer if you don't no, mind. No, you don't have to go. Stay over there. How you doing, pal? I'm Julius Pepperwood. Edgar. What are you doing? If you don't mind me asking why you're late today, Edgar. Uh, the traffic, it, it really killed me. It killed you? Mr. Would, Pepperwood. Would you say that it stabbed you? Say that again? How about glasses on or off? Teach, if I keep them on, am I a bad boy? Hey. All right, honey, I'll take them off. Whoa, that's a whole different lens to see that blue dress.